Hey gang, Pastor Brandon here. Just wanted to shoot out a quick update of the week. Hey, I uh, had a great turnout uh, last night for the Valentine's Day dinner fundraiser meeting. That is quite the title. But hey, I just want to thank all of the adults and all of the students uh, who came out. I think it's going to be an amazing evening. Um, a lot of people stepped up to the plate. It's awesome. It's very encouraging. Uh, we have another meeting uh, coming up at the end of the month on the 29th. Uh, that's a Wednesday as well. And we'll keep that meeting to an hour or less as well. And that'll be from 6.30 to 7.30. So be sure to mark your calendars and let everybody know who was unable to be there. I'll be sending out an email in probably the next day or two. Um, just kind of updating and kind of a synopsis of everything that has uh, that did happen and was discussed last night. Um, also, shine. I wish I could make this light up. Like, yeah, it didn't work. Uh, shine kickoff this Sunday. If there's 25 students, Mohawk, and uh, if we get 50 students. Green Bay Packer colors. So make sure you invite all your friends. Um, and speaking of inviting friends, um, I have a quick devotional thought that basically it's talking about our words and how we use them. Uh, so the devotion is called Power of Your Words. Uh, Proverbs 16.23 uh, says, From a wise mind comes wise speech. The words of the wise are persuasive. God's word reminds us that Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. And that's Proverbs 12, 18. If you seek to be a source of encouragement to friends, to family members, co-workers, other schoolmates, then you must measure your words carefully. And that's exactly what God wants us to do. Not just you, but me as well. Today, Make this promise to yourself. Vow to be an honest, effective, encouraging communicator at your work, at your school, at your home, basically every place. And speak wisely and not impulsively. Um, make sure you put a little bit of thought behind your words. I know that I'm number one guilty of, I can just ramble on and ramble on. You're probably wondering why I'm rambling on right now and you're probably ready for me to move on to the next point, but I just keep rambling on. See, you don't want to, you don't want to come across like that to other people. Um, but also sometimes when we're impulsive, yeah, the wrong words come out sometimes. Use words of kindness and praise, not words of anger. Learn how to be truthful without being cruel. That's a tough one there because sometimes when we're angry, we just want to spew things out like it's boiling inside of us. But um, we don't necessarily handle it in a correct way. And so sometimes we say things that are very hurtful to other people. Um, number one, guilty of that. Um, and it always tends to happen to the people you love. Uh, you know, for me, my, my wife and my kids are the closest ones to me. And it's like when I'm tired and I'm frustrated, uh, it always seems like things spew out um, on them. Uh, but who's in your life? What is it when you're frustrated or you're tired or you're angry? Um, who is it that... Um, that you spew things out, maybe you speak impulsively at. Remember that you have the power to heal others or to injure them, to lift others up or to hold them back. And when you learn how to lift them up, you'll soon discover that you've lifted yourself up too. Charles Stanley says this, Attitude and the spirit in which we communicate are as important as the words we say. Some good stuff there, guys. Uh, so make sure you put a little thought. Uh, it also says that we're supposed to be slow to speak and um, quick to listen. It's kind of funny how God gave us one mouth, but he gave us two ears. So how are you using yours today? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this crew. Would you be with them today, be with them this week? We give you all the praise and the honor and the glory. In your name, amen. You guys are awesome. We'll see you.